Hello everyone, we hope you are doing great. This is Sudeep Samanjai and I'm alumnus of Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. We welcome you for this session on GRASP. And in this session, we are also going to provide you a new opportunity to GRASP. The opportunity is to understand and pave your way to walk and learn with nation's greatest scientific minds, to sow early seeds of your career in the very fertile soil of science and reap its benefits in the future. You must be wondering why I'm getting so metaphorical, but let's kickstart the whole session with a flashback. In 1999, the Department of Science and Technology, which belongs to the central government, came up with an initiative to identify students with upscaling potential and channelize channelizing them to pursue their long-term career in research. The program, the aim of the program was to clearly identify such individuals and leverage their career to by giving them first-hand access to the nation's top institutions, either for education or collaboration. A management committee as well as national advisory committee was set up in Indian Institute of Science and this program was called Kishore Vaignanik Protsahan Yojana, in short KVPY. In English, it roughly translates into Young Scientist Incentive Award. To quench some of your curiosity, what is Indian Institute of Science? Indian Institute of Science is the premier institute in India which focuses on high intensive and advanced research and technological development. According to NIRF rankings, which is allotted by the central government of India, Indian Institute of Science is holding number one position and is recognized as best university of the country. One of the landmark achievements for which Indian Institute of Science was in a, new, in a very big news for is that Indian Institute of Science managed to bag a world rank one in the area of research quality, which is nothing but citations per paper. In uh, basically Indian Institute of Science, in other words, managed to surpass some of the top notch institutes of the country and the world and some of the Ivy League colleges such as Massachusetts Institute of Technology, Oxford University, Harvard, Princeton, and the list goes on. And in this particular domain, IAC became number one, which is a very proud news for the country and all of us. So coming to the point, the scientific temperament or the process of scientific inquiry, it is very essential for nation to grow in a lot of spheres, which include in the domain of research, the societal development, the industrial development and the economic development and many more. And you and you all being the students, you are, you are the nation's upcoming assets and something which nations could the nation could rely on because tomorrow it is your generation. It's the new generation, which is going to be the new doctors, engineers, scientists, entrepreneurs, startup creators, employment creators, artists, and the list goes on. The career list is a very long one. But KVPY in, is particularly focused on making students into scientists. And the program is structured in such a way that it produces, it provides you three consecutive opportunity to make your way into top-notch institutions of the country. So KVPY has three categories. KVPY essay is one category, which is given by 11th graders or first pre-university equivalents. KVPY SX is given by 12th graders or second pre-university equivalents. And KVPY SB is given by the first year students of Bachelor of Science program or Bachelor of Statistics program or Bachelor of Mathematics program or integrated MSc program, which involves basic science. 
and KV, though KVPY SA paper is different, KVPY SX and SB paper are same, but the rank list will be allotted separately. So KVPY exam as a whole con consists of two phases. One, the written exam, and the next, the interview. Coming to the written exam. The written exam is structured keeping students in mind. The aim of the written exam where and how the KVPY paper is set. The KVPY paper is focused to understand indirectly about the student's depth of knowledge and how well the student can, how well practiced and how well trained the student is to apply his concepts which he or she has understood. And it's not really something like, you know, just a cutoff crossing or pass the poll elimination. It, the, it also gives indirect insight to the selectors on how well consistent you are, or how your interests are inclined towards the field of science, and what is the rate of your work ethic. A lot of factors comes into play. And after the written exam, a cutoff would be created, and any student who has scores higher than the cutoff score, a shortlist for interview will be prepared. And the interview will be taken by nation's top professors from Indian Institute of Science. And after the interview, after the successful completion of your uh, written exam, as well as interview, a ranking list will be allotted. And if your name is on the rank ranking list, you are eligible to get 80,000 rupees stipend and a seat in some, one of the top colleges of science in India. And some of you might question, um, does any rank provide me a seat in Indian Institute of Science? Actually, no. You need to have an All India rank within 280, but consider the considering the competition for the safety part, you need to have a All India rank at least within 250 in either KVPY SA or KVPY SX. When it comes to KVPY SB, it is safer to have an All India rank within four or three to claim your place in Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. So coming to the um, fellowship award again, it's not just about getting in, getting a good seat. It also provides you access to the National Science Camp known as Vijayoshi Camp. And Vijayoshi Camp is aimed at um, bringing students in a collective atmosphere who have cleared KVPY exams and engaging them with some of the top-notch scientists and uh, people in the scientific world. And you will also get to meet a lot of other fellows who have cleared KVPY exam and interact with you regarding the science, their ideas, and all of that. So all of this and so much more holds promise for your successful and bright future of uh, you guys. And the first step for it is to go and attempt the exam. Some of you might be thinking, I just want to become, I want to study in a place like Ames. I want to study in a place like IIT. And I don't, I, I don't really think I want to become a scientist. Is it really necessary for me to give uh, the KVPY exam? Definitely yes. Because even if you don't want to become a scientist or pursue with IASC or whatever it is, KVPY exam will help help you to reevaluate yourself. It will help you understand where you stand in the competition and whether you are driving in the right direction and you are about to reach your goal, which you want to reach. And also, it it's also about self perspective and you get to know about yourself with conscious effort. How much you have understood the concept, what is lacking, and how much efforts you have to put in the future so that you can eventually make it into IIT or medical college in the future. And not just that, it's also about mentality as well. Once you go to an exam and face and have a hands-on experience, you have a shot towards it. So the next and subsequent exams, you are well prepared, you know how to plan, you know how to attempt the paper, how it's more comfortable for you. So your interest 
and see where it takes you. Definitely don't give up on it. So all the papers and all the in information related to KVPY is present on the internet. It, the website is kvpy.iac.fnet.in and it's just one click away and it's for free. You can just Google it out. So with all and speak coming to the final words, with its aim to assist students to realize their potential and to ensure the best students and the best scientific minds are groomed into research. KVPY has facilitated a lot of students to nation's top institutions for higher education. And if you are giving the KVPY exam, you are already at the doorstep. So we, the team grasp, we hope that you are well prepared for the exam and you are willing to take the exam up front. And we also want you to meddle with things and test yourself. Keep calm. Don't worry. When all of when we have made it, definitely you can also make it in, into these places. It needs consistency. It needs calmness. And most importantly, it needs your efforts in understanding and how you play with the problems. So by saying this, we are concluding. Thanks a lot for lis listening to this session. And definitely we'll engage in more sessions in the future. All the best for your exams and all the best for any future exams you're going to take. Wish you a happy new year. Thank you.